take a look at this example right here. You're probably thinking, wow, that's really cool looking, but I have no coding skills. I can't create that. Well, fortunately, you don't need coding skills now to integrate really cool things like this on your site. So we're going to take a look at the Spline 3D community and how you can browse all these awesome creations that other people have made, how you can also customize them to make them unique, and then integrate them in a no to low code environment such as Framer. This unlocks a world of possibilities and for me personally, legit, I am so excited because I've wanted something like this for a long time. So let's get started. Also, and speaking of Framer, right now is the early access period. There's about four days left where you can gain access to my upcoming course from Figma to Framer, where you learn how to create really cool interactive animated websites in the no to low code platform Framer. All right, so here we are at spline.design. That is the actual URL. And you want to create an account and it's free. And after you do that, you want to click over here and you log in, click on community. This is the main area that I'm talking about. And there are just so many different really cool projects that people have created that you can potentially integrate into your site. So for instance, take a look at these, um, they're called 3D paths. So we've seen this sort of thing in design, but look how cool this is because it's actually animated and it's in the browser. So what if we wanted to create like maybe a hero section that utilizes this little kind of animated ribbon effect? Well, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. So essentially what we want to do is click the remix link. And when you click remix, it's going to open up this document into the actual editor for Spline 3D. Now, if you don't know how to make adjustments, um, it's just one of those things. It's kind of like it's a no to low code tool except for 3D in the browser. So there's not a massive amount of information that you have to learn. It's not a huge learning curve like a, like a brand new language, but you could definitely make adjustments to this, like such as the colors. You could see the materials right here. If you mess with these, these materials, you'll be able to adjust the color and the look and the feel of everything. Um, so definitely play around and tinker with it to try to make it your own. Now, let's just say you're happy with it. You can click play just to see what it will look like in the browser and let's click export. So now you're ready to integrate this into something like Framer or Webflow. So at this point, now we wanna take a look at the settings. So if we click on play settings and I zoom up here, no, we don't want a logo. The background color we wanna hide. So the everything out here will be transparent, which I like because then I can control the background. Um, and then all these other uh, options, th these are things that you can update in the future or just tinker around with depending on whether or not you want people to be able to zoom it up or you know do all this cool stuff. So once you have that, then you just wanna click on copy link, all right? And once you do that in Framer, I have a new document open here. Let's create it a layout and we'll just center this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and then click on insert and we'll come down to utility and we're gonna click on embed. All right, so we're gonna drag this in the middle and we're gonna adjust this so it's 100% height and we'll do 100% width or height and then width. And once we have that, we just scroll down and we paste in that URL right here and hit enter. And we'll see if it works. There it goes. So now you can see it's working on a light color background, a white background, but we can adjust the background too. So if we want to get like a specific color in here, uh, maybe make it darker. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And there we go. So now if we were to hit play, we can see what this looks like. And of course, then we can have fun integrating other things. So let's say for instance, we want to have some type on top of this. Um, and I won't spend too much time doing this, but if I um, go to another actual resource, framer.supply, you can grab um, some components that you can just quickly integrate and customize. Um, one of the cool things here is if we want to have letter-based animations, we can do that by clicking copy. Once we copy that, we can go back into our framer and just control V to paste that in. Now that's going to mess up our, um, our height on our auto fits. I'm going to change this to all the way up. There we go. So let's make this, yeah, let's make this absolute and zero anchor to the top. There we go. So now we can take our layers and our motion text and just real quickly make adjustments to this. So you can see that it is a component so we can adjust the text here 
go ahead and adjust the font, maybe to BBoss New, and we'll make it much larger, and we'll also make it white, and we'll also make sure that our background element has a Z index of zero, and we'll just uh, drag it up to the top. All right, so if we click play, all right, so that's kind of jagged. I don't like that. Um, let's make another adjustment. So if I take our embedded or a motion text, for instance, and we, we modify that so that there is a delay um, under the transition, maybe, maybe like 0.45 seconds, it'll look a little bit better. And I'm also going to adjust the animation slightly. So let me adjust that real quick. And let's take the stagger down to like point one, zero one rather, and hit play. All right, so let's modify the height of, there we go. And there we go. Very quick sort of animation, click reload. And now you have this really cool ribbon effect in the background. So let's go ahead and experiment using just the same concept um, with different spline 3d components that we've uh, remixed so let's go back to our spline area and let's look for some more stuff that might actually work out and be really cool like what is this over here so if i let this load for a second that's really cool and it's something that we can rotate so let's give this one a shot and see how that works. I'm not gonna make any fine adjustments to this. You could probably like reduce the amount of them and change the colors and all that good stuff. In fact, just to change the colors, we can come over here under material and we can adjust. Um, let's do like maybe colorful metal. If we click that, now it's going to change this. So if we click play, that's what it's gonna look like now. So we've kind of customized it a little bit. Now let's click export, go to play settings. We don't want a background color and we don't want a logo. Let's just update the public URL, copy it, come back and take our embed and paste that in and see what this does. <laughs> All right. So I don't really like the background color now. Let's adjust that a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit better looking. And now if we now, okay, so we've obviously, here in the settings, um, we have allowed zoom, so that's why it's zooming up. But this is actually really cool, and what might be really uh, more interesting is to put the text behind it. Okay, and then maybe adjust the font size down a little bit. Now let's hit play. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So there's an endless amount of possibilities in terms of how you can integrate this stuff within the context of a node low code tool such as Framer. Let's do one more just for the fun of it. And then you can have fun on your own time really experimenting um, with all the very cool things that you can do. So let's scroll down more, try to find something that might maybe looks really cool. Um, Let's try this interactive spheres thing. I have no clue. Sometimes these don't translate well to Framer when you actually go to play them, um, but most of the time it does work. So let's, this is so cool. Let's go ahead and let's just hit export, not spend too much time on it. I don't want a background. We don't want a logo. Um, yeah, that, all the rest of this stuff is fine. Let's just update it. Go back here, copy the link and Update it here and see if it works. Oh, it works. Sweet. Let's get the uh, embed down there. And I'll probably take my motion text and make it a little bit larger. We're going to see what this looks like in a second. And let's take the font size. Actually, probably wouldn't even put it over it, but let's just hit play. Oh, look at that. So it's a real, actually, that's a really cool effect. When you hover over the, the light part, it kind of expands. It's very cool. <laughs> that is awesome. So as you can see, you have a tremendous amount of possibilities um, for creativity now that you can integrate these really cool 
community made effects within spline 3d so as always make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and check out the early access period for my upcoming course from figma to framer which you can purchase now at a discounted rate to take the course while i'm developing it and trust me it's going to include stuff like this in way 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 more all right everybody i'll see you soon and goodbye